Good morning, children. I hope you all know that the online classes will be commencing from the 3rd of August 2020, and the English literature class will be held on the 6th of August from 1 p.m. to 1:45 p.m. So I request you to attend the class with your literature books. That is both Reverie and Echoes. And since this is the first class on literature online, so I will be clearing all the doubts that you may be having regarding the portions covered in the e-learning classes. That is from Reverie. The chapter is We Are the Music Makers, and from Echoes. The chapters are story of an hour and the singing lesson. So make sure you have noted down all your doubts so that I can take it one by one and everything will be clarified on that very day. Is it okay? Okay. Now today I am going to give you a brief introduction to the poem. Crossing the bar. Please look up at the board. Crossing the bar, written by the poet Lord Tennyson. Crossing the bar, written by the poet Lord Tennyson, and his dates are 1809 to 1892. Right? 1809 to 1892. <clears throat> now, Lord Tennyson was. A poet of the Victorian period, and he was a representative poet of that period. He also got the title of he was honored with the title of poet laureate after William Wordsworth. Now a bit regarding the Victorian period. You see, it was marked by invention, industrialization exploring new horizons and most important it was during this period that the theory of evolution by Darwin was put forward. Now this gave a big jerk to sensitive minds like that of Tennyson and even you will find later to Matthew Arnold. Right? They became really very much disturbed agitated because their spiritual faith was totally shaken. Now coming to the poem, Crossing the Bar. It was written just three years before the death of Tennyson. And according to the poet's own words, it came all of a sudden. So the poem occurred to him like a flash of lightning in his mind. And immediately he composed the poem. Now, what is a bar? Bar is a sandy bridge on the water of the ocean or sea, just in front of the shore. And the ships have to cross the bar in order to venture out into the sea. Okay? Now, this becomes more easy and comfortable when the tide is high, then the journey of the ship, the voyage of the ship is much more easy. In the same way, when we complete our life on earth, we have to cross the bar and enter into the eternal life. So you see the poem is very much symbolic by nature. 
once our earthly life is over, we have to cross the bar, the sandy bar, which is the life and the death, demarcation, the demarcation between life and death. We have to cross this bar and set sail in the, in the ocean of eternity and get back to our maker, who is the pilot, who is God, who is almighty, and be reunited with him. Now, Tennyson wants that at the time of his death, he wants to die in a very peaceful, tranquil and serene manner, with his faith intact in his Christianity. Right? He doesn't want any spiritual disturbance at the time of his death. So you can understand that the poem is symbolic and very much metaphorical by nature. The themes of the poem are life, death, afterlife, faith in God and this is really a very rich poem with a rich theme. Right? So I stop here today and we are going to continue with this poem. So thank you children. Have a good day.